Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to try to beat my highest CPU Z score with my E2140. Currently, we are in uh, 62nd place, number 62, 3482.04 megahertz. We're going to see if we can get that up into the least the uh, top 60. Be nice. So you guys go. If you want more uh, proof here, let's open this up. There you have it, and there you are. So we're looking at first one I want to look at before I do anything. 435 was my uh, set FSB, which I've had it at 437. I think is the highest. Got a friend edition there. And uh, 1.424, so we'll crank it up to about 1.5. We'll ice down the res, and uh, let's try to get a higher CPU Z score, guys. Be back here in a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? Just want to make this video to show you guys that uh, finally broke through the barrier. I don't know what it was. I used pretty much all the settings that I normally would use on the 2140. Uh, I guess I just got it to the temperature it liked or something, and. Uh, I got my 3.5 gigahertz overclock validation. This is not stable by any means. As you can see, 1.52 volts. Ran a few Super Pi, but I ran uh, W Prime 32, and after about two seconds, that just restarted the computer. So, not stable at all. But that's not the point of a validation. As you can see here, we got 437, or maybe it's 438. Uh, CPU Z sometimes rounds it up or down. 438 by 8 gives you uh, 3.5 gigahertz. And the funny thing is, I tried one megahertz lower than this. It just totally, you know, re did its little restart three times, sent me back to stock. I cranked it up one megahertz and raised the voltage one more notch, turned it off for a minute, and then reset it, uh, restarted it, and uh, she booted up. And I had it running for a good 15 minutes or so. So, yeah, guys, uh, I've been talking to a lot of people on Overclock.net. So I'm going to try to get 3.6. I heard there's a FSB hole on my Biostar T-Power around uh, 445 to 450. So I'm going to try to skip that. That's probably why I tried pushing 450 with it one day and uh, totally jacked up the BIOS. So... Uh, let's just look back here. I'll scroll back and show you guys. I am in 60th place here. 3.6 points for TeamOverclock.net. You can see, uh, I mean, they're real close. If you guys look at the scores here, I'll put a link in the sidebar if anybody's actually interested. But I mean, I can jump up probably five just by getting another few megahertz out of it. See, so. That's sweet. I mean, if you look at the cooling, it's still, you know, within range. It's just all up to the chip at this point. But then you start getting up there. I mean, look at this guy here. He's even running Cascadia 3.6. Like I said, it all depends on the stepping and a lot of stuff about the CPU. So, alright guys, well, more work. And, uh, I haven't tried W Prime yet. For all the people who watched the video on the, uh, trying to get my best W Prime, haven't tried that yet. I just... More updates to come, and I apologize for the lack of videos. I just had a lot of work and stuff lately. So, thanks guys. Uh, comment, rate, and if you like all these videos, please subscribe, and see you guys later.